face that this world has forgotten. What's up guys and of course welcome back to another video from yours truly the sky render and as you guys can see in the title already we're gonna focus on Pokemon's I think should leave PU. Now I actually decided to pick only five Pokemon's. I believe there are more than five Pokemon that are supposed to leave PU, but I really want to focus on these five and why they are what I would say broken for a tier, but they aren't necessarily broken, but they're definitely too viable for the tier to actually not be capitalized on making the tier on its own very, very over centralized on a few decisive picks, which in my opinions, aren't the point of PU. P are supposed to be, you know, the under guys, the underdogs, under guys, that's new, but the underdogs of, of the Pokemon. And I don't believe P represents just that. And it's because these Pokemon are in it. And while the one of this a young tier at the moment and have barely any usage to be capitalized on, I still really want to just have my focus on it and talk about why I would think that they are too good for a tier on its own. So without further ado, let's go over the first Pokemon I picked. So the one that are definitely highest on my list are Absol. Absol is a Pokemon that was RU last generation and a very good RU Pokemon. It has free falling and has a lot to do with the guts usage really. Machomp really pushes Pokemon back in NU and while I would say it's viable in NU even to RU, it is very clear that its speed tier has been holding it back. What few people are missing out though is it's a very strong C user and with knockoff and superpower is usually tackle any things that could be fending it off. And then with the likes of Play Rough or Fire Blast, it can also capitalize on actually the things that could possibly wall it. Making knockoff Sucker Punch one of the primary moves here with Sword Stance. Uh, but as of right now, the ideal sets are actually without Sword Stance and it capitalize on Life Orb to be, really be able to actually tackle anything it could be facing. Absalon Zone is not the strongest Pokemon when it comes to actually just trying to fend off damage. It has a very hard time switching in, but at the same time here, there are very few things, if any, that actually switches in on Absol. The bulkier Pokemon that could be fending it off are not necessarily fast enough to take it on, making Absol one of the most strongest, if not even broken, Pokemon of PU right now. Now, the next Mon is actually a Pokemon I don't believe are necessarily broken. But due to how it works, it has over-centralized the tier itself, and that is Quillfish. Quillfish was RU last generation, and for good reasons. It was a really good, really good spiker and toxic spiker, and with Intimidate, it did sponge a lot of Pokemon fairly well. Together with Black Sludge and of course Taunt, this Pokemon was basically nullifying any defensive Pokemon that could possibly check it. Now, enter PU this generation, there, as a whole, PU lack defoggers and spinners. They're very scarce, making Quillfish even more viable. The reason it's not used that often in NU is because, of course, Slowbro and Slowking really just fend his Pokemon off naturally with Regenerator. Really doesn't mind its very existence as a whole, but Quillfish, due to concept, is a very, very broken Pokemon. Uh, it's not because the stats really speaks for it, it's really not because of it. Uh, even the outmatching can do offensively, it really aren't that scary, but it is what it does, which is taunting a defensive Pokemon who could possibly win against it, taunting them so they can't recover, and taunting them so they can't defog. It's one of those very, very tough things that really gonna just boil into that Quillfish on its own is not broken, but the concept of the Pokemon allows the Quillfish to really dominate, making the Pokemon a lot more viable than it really should be. And it's also the reason I kind of want to see Lee because it really just puts a lot of uh, pressure on a team naturally just because the Pokemon available are not able to fit it up properly in PU at all. And we're going to follow that up with the number one Pokemon I think very, very many people want to see leave already. And that is Mesprit. Now, why is Mesprit PU? Well, the easy answer is Yuxi is NU. Yuxi is always better than Mesprit. You know, to some extent, it's faster. It is potentially bulkier, and it has more options to be defensive. Mesprit is a jack of all trades, but it does the all jack of all trades very well. It is super bulky, one or five. That's bulkier than you, though. Then again, less HP, less speed. But quite frankly, levitate and stuff like that make Mesprit a very, very versatile Pokemon. We have Stealth Rock, we have Calmine Sweeper, we have Supporter, we have Funnel Wave U-Turn, we have Heal Milan, we have Healing Wish. The options just continue. This is a very, very dangerous Pokemon before to be dealt with. 
and Mesprit does fill a very strong role and right now the speedier version with life orb and stick web support is the one dominating but at the same time stealth rocks u-turn support it is very viable the Pokemon itself is just screaming outmatching everything and it's a super powerful psychic type it has issues and really have been fended off before that Mesprit's issues are born with that its speed here are quite low for his stats and of course being a mix offensive really just stand out that yeah it is forced to do something but it can't do both but at the same time here Mesprit in PU it does everything fairly well if not the best in the tier and this is the thing with Mesprit if you don't care about Mesprit you're very likely to lose Mesprit is such a fundamental part of any PU team and that's not supposed to be a PU in the first place. It is supposed to have the variety. This is a Pokemon that's over-centralizing it, and very few teams can deal with it. Now, usually when I tackle Mesprit, you either have to bring a Pinsir, or you have to bring an Absol. As stated before, Absol is a Pokemon that's not a Zelda Speedy, making the Dazzling Lean variant of Mesprit even as wonderful as ever. So it's very, very tough to take on Mesprit, and as, as of right now, it is probably the best Pokemon in PU, and I'm not going to see it necessarily staying, but its punching power are definitely important with Yuxi's availability in you as long as it stays there, making Mesprit one of the most underutilized Pokemon in NU, but also the most powerful in PU too, of course, this alone. Another Pokemon which viability really raised in this generation was Ursaring's viability. Now, it was a bit of a sleeper hit in PU. Uh, Hiriyama was the one being banned, and this was where people realized that with the stick web support, Ursaring and Hiriyama are very good Pokemon. And Ursaring, of course, is the one surviving that, was not a part even of the suspect test, but people have already started flagging that, you know, Ursaring might actually be more viable than, <laughs> than Hiriyama. It has a close combat already. While it's not stab, it's still it's close combat. We have the facade. We have Crunch, it does attack a low side fairly well, and Swords Dance just push it over the edge. It is a Pokemon that, due to Guts, is impossible to switch into. I really like watching when people switch in the likes of Agar, for example, to take a facade and just like 20 of people. Like, oh, I can take all that, and close combat, boom, you're done. That's, you, it can't be stopped. Uh, with the right team and right combination, or Soaring really does push it over the border. Uh, my favorite team to be seen is basically Stealthrock Leveny, um, or not Stealthrock, um, Stickwave Leveny with the Stealthrock Mesprit and Ursaring, and then basically anything that could be capitalized on the Stickweb. Ursaring usually can sweep on its own. The, the few Pokemon that could actually be floating well, they usually cover that by actually having a floater on their own that can tackle it, such as Mesprit, for example. But even with that, Ursaring is very, very versatile. If you don't want to capitalize on it's um, got said you all can always use quick feet while it doesn't sting as much it still is an option it still is as tough to deal with but the gut set is really too powerful making it probably one of the strongest pokemon in pu as a whole and probably even broken for it because there are really no switches for this hits at all now my last pokemon i picked here is a pokemon i think is an essential part of PU right now due to its spinning capabilities and it's also where the fault of the Pokemon lies and that is going to be Hitmonchan. Um, the reason Hitmonchan really is, in my honest opinion, um, the best spinner really is because it's speed tier and it hits super effectively against any stealth rocker. It really is one of those Pokemon that due to Mac Punch it hurts anything and Iron Fist, yeah that helps. And then Ice Punch, Drain Punch and Rap has been usually covered worse making this Pokemon not only hard to switch into, but really uh, impossible to set up rocks against. I I'm not uh, trying to say that, you know, Hitmonchan doesn't have any counters. It of course it does. Um, we have Pokemon does Dusk Club, Dusk Noir, tackle it, Mesprit deals with it fairly well. Even, you know, any bulky psychic attack could probably take it on. But it's for the long game. When you have the Stealth Rocks after yourself, you have everything going on, it is very clear that Hitmonchan could probably, due to my punch, cannot just kill the rest of the game to to be honest it's very hard to switch in hitmonchan too uh like i said the counters and checks does exist but in late game it starts to show that the combination of actually hard hitting iron fist drain punch or even close combat again with mag punch really takes a toll on a team and as said before the stick web situation is going on with hitmonchan too and that's a fair fair speed here the reason it's not capitalized as well in nu is because of lee and top actually being there and I even heard about that. Maybe top is even falling further. And that's going to actually make it very tough. 
for any other finite type because as I said before over centralizing means that only one Pokemon is used and rapid spin Hitmonchan is probably the only sweep or the spinner that are around while I would say that we have other options such of course Sandslash Sandslash does not actually have that physical scariness and proudness that actually Chan is bringing, making Chan, in my opinion, the best spinner of PU, but also probably the strongest and most broken spinner of PU. And due to its viability in the PU alone, I think it's just really should be going away from it. But yeah, those are my thoughts. And as I said before, there are other Pokemon also that I think are over-centralizing the tier to some extent. I really want to just a quick shout, I guess, to those Pokemon. Uh, Skunk Tank is one of those, Electros definitely are standing out, and Weezing are also there. Those are Pokemon that I would say are over-centralizing things. Um, but yeah, outside of that, there are other Pokemon that I think over-centralizing. Obama Snow also is one of those Pokemon I think are tremendously impossible to deal with. But it's manageable in that extent. But those are just my few thoughts, and as stated before, Though the five Pokemon I mentioned here, it's not that they're necessarily broken on their own, but the synergy they're forcing is basically forcing you in PU to capitalize on it. Either use them or use a team that counter them, and even at that, they actually are dealing with one another fairly well already, making it fairly hard to stop these teams in general. And Mesprit, Quillfish, Hitmonchan, and Absol as a team is very hard to be dealing with well. So, um, I'm not proposing an immediate change, but definitely want to see this Pokemon eventually leave the tier because it just does so well against so many teams of people already, making the tier itself very over centralized. So, that's it, guys. As always, thank you for watching, and well, join me next time. <laughs> We're kind of looking upon another thing, and we're going to actually focus on in you next time. So, thank you for watching, guys, and I'll see you next video. Till then, take care.